Hello, I'm Dr. Masood Javed and I welcome you on a brief tutorial about the use of online research course. You must have received an email about the login URL, which is Universal Resource Locator, the user ID and password. And the URL is the onlinelearning.net. You need to go through your browser to the onlinelearning.net and click on to the course in which you have registered yourself. You need to enter your user ID, which is in that instance for today, I'm using a demo account and the password for that, which is unique to everyone and click login. Then you are into the online research course in which you are registered. You can see your name here, which should be whatever your name is XYZ. The course website is divided into three parts. On the left side, there is nav navigational pan. On the middle is the main working area. On the right side is different small blocks as well. As you key see on the left side, first there are my home, site pages, etc. And different sessions. You can see here session one to session five as the online research course is divided into five sessions. So by clicking into any of the session, you directly goes into the respective session as well. Below it, there is course administration where you can see your grades and your profile setting. As the first assignment of yours as well, you need to upload your pictures and write something about you, which is you just need to click my profile setting. And here is the link of edit profile. Click edit profile. Here you can see your first and surname sector, which was written by us already. Your email address, which you can change if you want to. And below it, don't change any other thing, but write down description about yourself, whatever your interests are, etc. So the participants and other facilitators relate to you and maximize your learning experience. The next thing which we recommend you to do is to upload your pictures. And uploading an is the same as an attachment of any file in discussion forum and assignment as well. When you clicked into, you, you need to click this user picture so that this is expanded the links and here you can see a plus sign click the plus sign and it will open a window where you can see different options recent files upload a file etc because you need to upload a file from your computer so click upload a file in the middle pane you can see an attachment file click it and in your computer wherever your picture is placed there click browse over it and click enter and then click upload this file you can see here your file, which is a graphic format for your picture as well. We recommend you to use your real picture, but if you are concerned about this, you can use any of other picture as well. There are some other things which is optional. You can write your interest as well. You can write your website address and Skype ideal sector, institution, departmental sector as well. And after this, click update profile. So that's how you can change your profile so that a pers other person can see who you are and relate to you as well because your profile is seen by others as well. So on the, this is about the left side. At any place of time, if you're confused where you are, you want to go to the first page of the course site, you need to click the ORC. That is online research course. So you will be back to the first main page of the course site. So here you are at the same place. Okay, now let's see on the right side options. This is a window where you can see who are online in the last 10 minutes here as well. At the moment, currently you can see only myself as an ORC student as well, but you can, there's a list of other participants as well when they are online. You can search anything in different discussion forum during the course. This is a latest news forum. The facilitator and the course director, whenever they need to announce something important, they will go into right in the news forum and you can see it's posting here as well. Below it is a calendar where you can see what's coming up in the next for example you can see here hands-on exercise of session one quiz open on 26th of august and also webinar one is on 26 and also you can see the other things as well and it can be goes to the next month as well so you can see what are the things going on now you can see september here so there are different things already lined up for the course as well Below it, there are upcoming events. Again, you can see different things which are specific to you, especially in this course. So all things are can be shown here as well. 
below it is a recent activity as the course progresses people is going to post submit assignments there is news forum there is quiz opening so everything you can see here what's going on in the recently from the last login of yourselves so this is the main site and the middle column is the main course working area you can see the whole program of the course by clicking here as well it will open in another window and this is the program so you know what's going on at each day of the course what are what are the timings of different webinars and what are their assignments as well so it's a bird's eye view of the course website not the course website sorry the course below it uh, you will is receive an another email about the login and registration details about the webinar sessions and how to log in etc uh, which is easier to do but if you are confused if you are still not registered for the course site during the webinar timing you can just click this join join webinar.com link and use this webinar id and your email address which is registered with the course and you will be entered into the webinar as well but if you are already registered with the webinar which you should be you will receive an email for that you will receive an automatic reminder 24 hour before the live webinar and 1 hour before the webinar and there are total 5 webinar during the course so we can see here there is a resource material for you to see and download which are very good books etc as well you need to see this the pdf file of handouts of the course please download it and see it before joining the webinar as well the specific thing which are the objectives of the webinar so it you will be it will maximize your learning experience there are different templates of research protocols already available to you to download and see as well and this is the word file research proposal template for assignment download this form and whenever you have given an assignment of for example writing an introduction methodology etc you can write down directly into this word file and upload it as well so it will be easier for you so this is and you can go back by just clicking the back button from your browser this is news forum anything specific thing i need to say and the facilitator have to say to you for example the next webinar or any important announcement will going to post into the news forum and you will going to receive an email of every news forum as well below it you can see there is general discussion forum so we'll going to the course progress we'll going to discuss different thing but during any of time you need to talk about anything you need to ask any question discuss anything you need to use this general discussion forum here you can start any discussion topic not related to the specific session which is going on so use that thing for general discussion forum as well this is chat room if you want to chat real in real time with your other participant or facilitator uh, make some time announce them and then go into that thing as well these are some suggested topics or you can make you can suggest and recommend any other topic with the facilitator's guidance as well but there are some of the topics already written to help you to guide how to go out okay now the specific thing this is you can see this is the next part is divided into session 1 session 2 session 3 overall the online research course is divided into five sessions each session is linked with one webinar and one session things on the course website in the webinar we'll going to talk about generic things as well but there is specific thing going on in that general discussion forum for example the first session is about the introduction of the course webinar moodle etc this is your assignment what you have to do after this session this is our discussion forum so anything related to that session that webinar and that time frame you need to use did this discussion forum to start we will going to add group a group b group c different discussion forum so in which you are enrolled and we'll going to let you know that you are part of group b group c so you need to discuss anything related to your research topic or your course website or your course things as well on your respective discussion forum not at other places as well below it you can see here there is hands on exercise of session 1 after the webinar of each session the hand on exercise of that session will open and you can have to go about during different questions mcqs which are going here as well it will going to open for example you can see here the quiz will not be available until 26 august at 5 pm so it will be active after the webinar timing you have to attempt don't worry about the grades you just have to go through the quiz 
through the quiz as well to complete this activity and it's written in your certificate as well not the numbers of but how many quizzes you have attempted you need to attempt all the quiz which are four after the first session there will be second webinar session and after this you need to discuss about anything related to that thing which is topic selection literature sales etc need discussion forum of that topic not the previous one not the next one if you want to talk about anything which is not related to this session like topic selection literature search you journal discussion forum in the above area this one not write down journal discussion topics in the same forum so there will be some proper orientation of the things which we are going to discuss and you can see here there is hand on exercise of session 2 this is assignment your assignments should be group work so after discussion and finalizing your things in the discussion forum with your colleagues submit your assignment and one person from the group will going to make your groups of five or six people upload your assignment in the assignment section and send for marking so as the course progress you need to go for session three session four session five so as time goes you need to write down your discussion forum submit your assignment in the respective session and help is already available if you have any problem during the use of course site they will provide you a a email address to discuss things will provide you a phone number so you can directly talk to the administrators about the things and issues as well every post going on into the course website you will going to receive an automatic email notifications as well which you can block it if you want to for example here you can see on my course website I have received ORC every email which you receive from the course website will be titled ORC in front so you can know what's going on so when you open the web this link you can see here I'm just demoing what's going on so I just write hello to you can see here this is a post by Dr. Masood Javed and hello to you and you can see here it's in the journal discussion forum at ORC forum journal discussion forum but still if you are confused where to go and find out about that thing because you will going to receive more than 100 notifications or 50 to approximately 50 notifications per day you just need to click see this post in the context or the click reply so you will directly log on into your course website and into that specific post as well for example I want to see that post if you are already logged in you will be it will take you inside if you are not logged in it will ask you for user ID and password I'm clicking this thing and I'm going to the course website and you can see directly I am in a journal discussion forum into this specific same post so it will be easier you just monitor that what's going on if you are part of group B the subject will be ORC slash group B post so you know that I need to follow all the post of group B and vice versa etc hopefully this will help you in proper utilization of the course website but still if there's any question comment you can just email us don't worry we are here to help you thanks a lot hopefully you have a good learning experience with us during the online research course you can log out by clicking here as well thanks a lot